Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas to yo! In this video, I'm gonna be giving you a very special gift, okay? This gift was handed to me by someone else by the name of Jason Capital and it is the four-step framework to expressing alpha male body language, okay? Now you know that body language is very important. You know that it is a large determinant in how people actually judge you, how people react to you, how people respond to you, how they treat you. And in this video, like I said, I'll be sharing with you the four-step framework that will allow you to show up as the most confident, dominant version of yourself, okay? So body language is a huge aspect that determines how we think. Okay, your mind and your body are constantly interacting in a feedback loop and the way that you think affects your physiology and if you change your physiology, you can change how you think as well. Okay, Neil Fasricha wrote a book called The Happiness Equation, if I'm not mistaken. And in it, he says that it is easier to act your way into a new way of thinking than it is to think your way into a new way of acting. Okay, so with taking con conscious control of our body language, how we are expressing our physiology, we can literally change the way that we think. And the four step framework that Jason Capital shared with me is that of OGSP. Okay, let's dive into each one of these right now. So the first thing you have to maintain an awareness of is whether your body language is open and expansive or if it is closed and contractive okay because it's definitely going to affect the way that you are thinking all right now they've done studies on this as well whereby they put people in certain uh, certain stances certain body language positions and they found that when they're more expansive they have higher levels of testosterone they feel more confident they feel better about themselves and they're being perceived differently as well okay so make sure that your body language is expansive and the main thing to keep an eye out on is basically your body's how much space your body is taking up in relevance to the space that it is in okay so it's really the space between your left and right joints your left and right knee your left and right elbows your left and right wrists your shoulders okay and the more you can stay expansive the more you will send a signal to your mind to feel confident, to feel dominant, to feel certain and secure in your body as well, okay? So expansive, open versus closed, okay? Open versus closed, that is the first step of the framework, O. G, grounded versus floating, okay? So when you have grounded, uh, grounded body language, when you are feeling grounded in your own head, you are firm in your position okay you are in your position you're present and you're firmly in your space but when you're floating then you are kind of erratic like you are reactive to the environment like if something happens you're like looking around and you're like someone like you're having a conversation with someone someone else calls you and you like go talk to them and completely ignore the person over here so being grounded means that you are firm in your position all right imagine a tree you can't like move that tree out of its way it's like you're certain, you have your feet planted on the floor, you're present and you're in your space of balance, of equanimity versus floating, being erratic and just constantly being in reaction to the environment, okay? So the third part of this OGSP framework is the S, like I said, all right? So it's slow versus fast. So when you have slow body language, it's like, yes, something is happening, maybe someone calls for your attention and then you like look at them right it's like you're slow in your expression of water jason capital describes it as imagining like you're underwater it's like you're very graceful with your movements rather than fast with your movements whereby you are just like on the move and just like very reactive again it's related to the previous thing as well so of course it comes down to being slow with your body language because you're grounded and that naturally feeds into you being slow and steady and calm and cool and collected as well okay and then the final step of this four step framework is that of pre p okay priding versus hiding when you are in the priding state of body language then you are 
not afraid of getting attention to you all right i remember when i used to walk into rooms before it was like i didn't want anyone to look at me i just wanted to like sneak in into a conversation without grabbing much attention but now i know that that is because my mind was dealing with its own insecurities and if we can go ahead and be priding and be w willing to show up rather than hide then we can go ahead and send the signals to our mind that we are worthy that we are important that we are certain of our path and our purpose and that we have nothing to hide all right because when you're hiding it's like you don't want attention you don't want eyes on you you just want to be like not seen and you just want to sneak in and just like you know have a conversation with whoever you want rather than actually commanding a presence and making heads turn this bird has a presence right now it's squeaking and ruining my video but it's all about being willing to be seen okay so body language has a huge effect on how we are perceived and the most important this bird is going crazy and it's ruining my video but the most important thing <laughs> See, I'm being reactive to this bird right now because it has some serious alpha male body language and uh, part of body language is actually non-verbal communication, it's how you use your voice and that bird has a very strong, firm voice that's like making me reactive to it. So it's a call for me to get grounded, take a deep breath in and get back to the point I was going to share with you and that is to realize that the world will accept whatever judgment that you place on yourself. Okay, and as we understand this, then we can realize that there is a loop going on between our mind and our body. And the best way to change how we think is to change how we are by changing how we act, by changing and getting an awareness and a conscious awareness on how our body is expressing itself. And if we can change the way our body is expressing itself, we can change our thought patterns and we can become the strong, grounded, confident men that we know we are capable of showing up as all right so alpha male body language is really about this ogsp framework definitely go ahead and maintain an awareness on it and then the more you can keep your attention on the way that you carry yourself on the way that you're showing up on the way that you feel the more you can provide yourself with the signals to change the way that you feel when you're not feeling the way that you want to okay now if you want to learn more about what my stuff and what i have to offer guys then definitely click the link below check out the awaken your alpha program and in the year 2020 if we are a good fit to work together i will coach you i will hold you accountable i will give you a proven process to become the strong grounded man that you know you're capable of being by implementing the lifestyle strategies by adopting the mindset that gives you a frame to show up as the most powerful version of yourself.